Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is McKinley Man 93. And I am here with a memory card. Yes, that's right, a memory card. And I am going to be doing a let's play of the Walking Dead video game. This game has won a game of the year by the VGA, the hosted by Samuel L. Jackson. This game is in this game is absolutely amazing. I will be deleting this one. Starting up a new game. A new day. I will be quiet during the cutscenes, but every time I have to look around and do something, I'll talk. That's the way this is going to be. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Telltale Games presents in association with Skybound Entertainment The Walking Dead Episode 1 A New Day in a cop car. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough. I love how this game is, um... What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. And what the hell is going on? As if I didn't already know. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> oh, Lee. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. That box never shuts up. Sitting this seat to pay too much attention and you drive yourself crazy. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Turn the radio off. Before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I'm telling him he's got to stop. That's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. 
He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Oh shit. I'm getting tossed around in there. Apparently I didn't have my seatbelt on. I had my hands handcuffed. I had my hands handcuffed in the front of my body and I still didn't and the cop still didn't put my seatbelt on. appropriate to play the Walking Dead theme song. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cut back here! Damn. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Oh. Falcon kick. Oh, I forgot to do something then. Those are my friends in the background. doing that. right there in my reticle. Oh god. Oh 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 god. Oh oh god. Oh god. It's zombies. 
It's zombies. It's zombies. Run, Lee. Run. Why'd you trip? Run, Lee. Zombies everywhere. Damn it, Lee. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> oh, gunshots. Run away, zombies! Leave me alone! Hello? Anybody? Well, guys, this looks like a great place to stop. As you see me walking over to this treehouse, Join me next time, part two of episode one, A New Day.